The cast is uh, Jamie Deadly. She's the star. She plays a... Uh, I'm not really sure what she plays. It's some sort of vampire creature. Well, it's Jamie, and she's like the head uh, temptress knight of the queen of the night or whatever she is. And she, uh, I guess, is the head of the cemetery or something. I, I, no, really, no one has ever told me what uh, her actual job is. Conroe Ziggy, which is played by... Matt now we've got J. Mole to a uh, neurotic T, and um, I, I get the impression that he is Jamie's right-hand man, literally. He's pretty much the Kramer of the cemetery, the Cosmo Kramer of the cemetery. My character is Jenkins, the, the landlord, severed head, who was from England, and I kind of just came out with this posh sort of boisterous, sort of know-it-all, sort of tone, you know, oh, hello, you know, how dare you, how dare you, oh, Jamie, you know, and it sort of just escalated into more, you know, just being able to give more, be given more acting freedom, just more insults flew and just became deadlier, you know, playing. Yeah. There was the sort of a, a different vibe with Alex, and then after he left and... And uh, they came in, uh, Brian and, uh, and uh, Zach. They, you know, it was it was just it sort of moved to a different level. And you know, it's great to get different takes off of the way different people bounce off each other. It's always going to be different no matter who you you add to the mix. Well, for me, it was it was different actually being on a set, getting into acting, um, acting. That's what I call it. <laughs> I'm doing acting. Um, Basically, it's a, the level of acting for me, it's about like being on the set of a silent movie. Everything's very exaggerated, and the emotions are just very exaggerated. And So even though you are exaggerating, it still does take skill. So that's, it's, it's been a, a great challenge for me to you know, move away from the still camera for the modeling into uh, you know, the moving camera, and I, I think it's been wonderful. I mean, it's something I always wanted to pursue, so it's sort of, you know, it, it's basically just something I, I've wanted to fulfill, and that's happened, and I set all these goals for myself, and I'm pretty tenacious, so I usually reach them, so it's been incredibly rewarding for me to do this, and challenging, and you learn something about yourself. Well, at first, it was a little weird, because, the like, the first... Two or three episodes, uh, people would come in and do a show, and then and then, you know, they wouldn't come back. And so at first, it was a little bit like, and that might be why me and Brian work pretty well together, is because we were kind of the new guys, and um, I mean everyone was friendly, but it was just kind of like, well, you know, everyone else is you know come and gone. But once once we started, once we kind of got like an actual cast, like like regulars. Um, I, I, I kind of bitch about, you know, having to get up early, but I always look forward to it. And I'm kind of sad to see it end because every episode we've done has, has gotten a little bit better. And I like working with everybody. Like, I, can't, I can honestly say that there's nobody in the cast I don't like working with. It's a one-camera show, you know. Um, it's, it's, so it's edited, you know. We do many, many takes of it. Like, uh, some, I like to do at least two takes of every shot because I like to get as much as I can out of my actors. You know, and when people come up to me and they think that it's a multi-camera shoot, that, you know, they say, wow, you, you all, you know, you went to the scene perfectly um, throughout this multi-camera shoot. And I'm like, no, actually, we just, we did it in takes, but they, they don't even notice that it's, that it's uh, edited, you know, uh, in post-production. So it's, it's a real compliment when they watch it and the, the scene seamlessly goes together and they think that it's actually just you know, one long performance and just have a whole bunch of cameras everywhere capturing it. So that's always fun.